The climate change in the recent uh, 20 years has uh, brought huge awareness in the industry. So most company today in this industry is uh, accelerating their adoption, what we call green manufacturing. That is, we reduce the PFC emission year over year, and we try to conserve our energy, have all the activities, and also we adjust our energy policy, adopt the renewable energy. TSMC is the world's largest IC foundry company. We supply technology and manufacturing capacity. Our missions are integrity, enhanced environment protections, and the caring of the disadvantaged. DGSI Index is the most credible and a well-known public rating agency on sustainability. We have started to participate in DGSI evaluation since 2001. We believe ESG, environment, social and corporate governance, sets good foundation of companies' sustainability on its core business. Being on the list for consecutive years demonstrated TSMC's commitment and efforts on the sustainability. Climate change has always ranked number one of our focus. Internally, we have Energy Conservation and Carbon Reduction Committee led by Senior VP of Operations regularly review the green gas reduction progress versus our goal. Carbon emission, for example, the semiconductor um, industry produced about 2.3% 10 years ago. And uh, today it, we are aimed to reduce to 1.9% of the global carbon emission in 2030. Since we are the biggest purchaser of renewable energy in Taiwan, we work very closely with the government to encourage renewable energy investment and, and to ensure sufficient renewable energy supply available for us to use. Taiwan is a small place and the resources are scarce. Therefore, we uh, also want our presence and our expansion to be sustainable. We're trying to build uh, waste disposal plants. All the technology we have developing is trying to produce energy efficient product for them so that whenever those ICs in the market, they can produce energy efficient devices for the general consumers. We need to have a sustainable uh, system to do that. TSMC practices a very simple idea of the circular economy, so a cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach. So what used to be considered maybe a waste, we tried to find a reuse for that. Uh, for example, uh, our facility team has been working two years in an alchemy project is what I like to call it. It's taking our waste copper sulfate and turning it into copper tubes, and so that material has a wider range of applications that in the past that material would have been sent as waste. So to put it simply, fabs are the semiconductor manufacturing facilities. One of the things that TSMC has done is they have performed ecological studies of the fabs and their surrounding environments and have determined that several of those fabs are very indicative 
for fireflies and their ecology. They have taken these studies and worked with ecologists to uh, make a multi-level vegetation to one, reduce light pollution, which will promote those, that firefly development and, and ecology for them, and two, uh, to reduce the hazards out there. So uh, TSMC has taken the approach of reducing the hazardous materials such as herbicides and pesticides that make those way into those ecologies. And one of those things is promoting biodiversity to promote this firefly project that they've taken on. All lives have stories, and TSMC feels that all those stories are very important. And so we want to do what we can to make sure those stories continue on by creating great environments as, as we have here on site in our walking trails and the Firefly Project. These chips ultimately enable the next generation of products and technology that will speed the cycle of innovation even faster, moving us closer and closer to a more brilliant future. Today, all the technology development is almost just to reduce the energy consumption. And also the 5G communication, you know, on the poles, this consume a lot of powers. So all the advanced technology we're developing now, it just reduce the 5G communication base stations power consumption and reduce your smartphone's power consumption so that you have more features to be able to operate with an energy efficient way. The technology industry is advancing very quickly and it will enable, for example, smart cities, smart transportations. Those will help the society to be more efficient. So I think we should be optimistic, and but we just need to act together and lead to help the society to combat the climate change.